Yo, BJ Gador with the Daily BJ, and this is the home workout from hell. What you need is a pair of dumbbells and a pair of sliders. Dumbbells, anywhere from 10 to 25 pound dumbbells will be plenty. You can use furniture or fitness sliders on carpet or turf. You can use socks or paper plates on a wooden floor. So many ways to get it done. But the workout description is the video description. Subscribe to my channel. Here are the movements, and there's a built-in warm as always. So we're going to start with a dumbbell sliding push-up walk. Put your feet on the sliders. We're gonna focus on keeping the hips and shoulders square to the ground, core engaged the entire way, going as slow as we have to go to prevent any sort of turning, twisting, or sagging of the hips. I'm gonna go here. Shoulders are going to get lit. And then bring it back. All right, doing that for time. From there, one of my new favorite movements works the entire posterior chain backside. Also, great core engagement is a pullover leg curl combo. So. We're going to maintain a hip extended position the entire time, abs crunched, glutes clenched, as we simultaneously, and you can keep a slight bending of the elbows here, slide the legs out and move the arms back. You didn't see that first rep, did you? Good. Sliding out, bringing it back. Control it out, nice control on the eccentric, bring it back. Try to get them moving together as you do it. That's gonna to get toasty. Good luck on that movement. From there, dumbbell close grip push up to sliding climber. So put the dumbbells together. We're gonna go one leg at a time here. Gonna kind of crush this as best you can. If it's too hard on any of the sort of the push ups, by the way, just don't do the push up, do the plank, or you can come to the knees if you need to. So I'm gonna get locked in, elbows tight to the side, push, climb and control. Bring in one leg at a time. Push. Oops, sorry. Climb. Push. Climb. And keep repeating that pattern. Core, chest, shoulders, triceps. Going to get destroyed in a good way. From there, this one is super challenging, but I think you'll dig it. High-low. So we're going to go slide and reverse lunge with a high-low pattern. Get lots of core engagement, hip, thigh engagement. This is a total body movement in and of itself. So... Right arm is uh, gonna be the work, right leg is the work leg, right arm holding, the left arm is overhead. So suitcase here, overhead, the opposite arm, crunch the abs, pull the rib shoulders down, keep pressing the knuckles to the sky, active or delt on the right side. I'm gonna slide back in control and then bring it back. So slide back in control, bring it back. Don't lose that ab engagement, we don't wanna hyper extend the back, we wanna keep the work coming through those legs, no extension. From there, this one is killer sliding push-up row. So I'm going to get here. I'm going to keep my hips and shoulders square to the ground. Slide out. Bring it back. Hips and shoulders square. Press that sliding hand down. Row. Slide out. Bring it back. Push. Continue for time. You'll be switching sides, by the way, on all the subsequent unilateral movements. So full set on one side before switching. Then we have lateral lunge, curl to press. This one's a lot of fun. Whole body movement. The key focus is there might be a little uh, movement at the upper back towards the bottom of the movement. You can also not go down as far as that's the case. Just make sure the low back is not flexing. So I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna keep the chest up, slide out, touch, curl to press. Working lateral hips, glutes, adductors, inner outer hip thigh, the entire upper body. And anytime I go overhead, I'm working my abs. So just load those hips, keep pressing through. Final movement, just to totally melt the face in the face. So you can use this one slider here, both feet on one, if you can get those uh, Cadillac feet on there, lock it in. So the easier version is we do a tuck to a wide grip push up. Harder version is straight leg tuck, all right, into push up. So difficult. I'm actually kind of hollowing out like here to, as a gymnast. So there might be, you might feel like there's some rounding of the spine, but really it's just I'm hollowing out to really engage the core at the top of the movement, get the scapula in a good position. So look at this small space, boxers all over the place. Anytime, anywhere. That's what a good workout is all about. Minimal equipment, maximal results. 
and maximum jewels, jowls. Love you guys. Peace.